Welcome back, guys. So this has been a heavily requested model. We've had it out for a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, we have neglected it. It is the Thunder 215 MTS. So it is a full feature MIG, um, not Pulse like the 255, but it is a full feature MIG. It is a full feature DC TIG. So it does have Pulse, has everything you'd want on the, uh, the TIG side. And it has it is flux core machine as well as a stick unit, full feature stick. So you've got your hot start, VRD, uh, arc force, all of that. So we just wanted to run through, show you guys some of the features of this machine. Um, we'll also show you the new menu, show you how to set up your, your program saves, how to custom name them. This machine also has that, like some of the other Cyclone units. So this menu is going to look very familiar if you've seen the other Cyclone videos. Um, this unit will look very familiar. We're trying to have continuity across the entire lineup. So the Cyclones, the DPIs, uh, the Thunders, they're all gonna share the same menu. So a lot of those features and functions will transfer over machine to machine to machine. So a lot of things are gonna seem similar, but let's dive into this thing, show you guys what this thing has to offer, and we will get you out of here. All right, so here we are with the control panel. So of course, across the top, we have our process selection. So this unit, we have our argon CO2 mixes. We have straight C100. We then have aluminum. Like I said, there's no pulse on this unit, so there's gonna be spray arc only. There is no pulse for aluminum, but it does have the power set mode. This is basically telling the power set what you're running gas-wise. That way it knows how to calibrate the machine for the power set mode. Um, but after the aluminum mode, we do have a stainless steel mode, as well as a uh, flux cord no gas. We have DC stick and then we have DC TIG. Sorry, let me flip those. DC TIG, then DC stick across the top. Apparently I can't read. But on our, our C25s, you know, CO2 mixes, this will be good for like C10, 98.2, C25. Uh, the calibration is all pretty close. So anything mixed with argon, the argon mixes section is where you want to be with hardwire. So of course we got pre and post flow. We've got our start and ending wire feed speed that will allow you to have a, a hotter start as well as a crater fill. We have our upslope and downslope if you're running like a 4T. Um, we also have burn back, inductance, spot and stitch timer, uh, wire diameter selection. This is also for the power set. So if you're having trouble on the manual side, you can set your wire diameter. You hit power set, it brings that wire diameter over to power set. We have our remote option, so that's 2T, 4T, 2T special, 4T special. Uh, we have our standard or we can drop down and show you guys real quick. So you do standard torch, spool gun, or push pull. So this thing is ready for spool or push pull gun. And of course we have the, the unit selection, either uh, Imperial or, or metric. Super nice feature that's coming out on all the, all the LCD machines. That way our, our other uh, country customers, um, especially like Australia, New Zealand, uh, Canada, it does have the metric option there. Let me go ahead and change that back so I don't confuse myself next time I go to run this. So, you know, full feature MIG side has everything you basically want, like I said, other than pulse. Of course, CO, the CO2 mixes, that's going to be exactly the same. The aluminum side, of course, again, the same. It does have, you know, your wire diameter. So when you go to power set, it will ask you your wire diameter. It, change, it comes over as well as your material thickness. It's not quite as detailed because we're not doing pulse. It's not quite as detailed as like the 263 uh, PI or the the 253 DPI, 353 DPI, not quite as detailed on the settings because the calibration isn't ex as exact, not doing pulse. Of course, we have our stainless section as well. So all the MIG options are gonna be the same. It's just, like I said, it's just the calibration for the power set mode is what that's there for. Flux core, again, it's all gonna be the same as the previous units. Then we get over to our DC TIG side. So the DC TIG side, of course, we have our pre and post flow. We have our start and end amps. Uh, we have our pedal, re you know, pedal or finger remote. We also can go down on our starts. This does have your traditional lift start and it does have the live lift. So 
The lift start will still require a remote like the finger trigger or a pedal or something like that. Whereas the live lift is essentially a scratch start. The torch is always live. You touch it down to the material, it'll start pre-flowing. As you lift up, the arc will start and then you can either have an upslope and downslope if you, or upslope but no downslope. So you'll just snap out of it like you would a, a scratch start TIG rig. Then we come over to our DC or our DC stick side. So of course we still have the remote option, which that is for running a foot pedal. So you can run a foot pedal on this machine while welding sticks. So you can hook up the foot pedal and then you can vary your amperage via the foot pedal. So if you do have a gap or a really tight fit up and you wanna ramp up your amperage where you did have an open route, uh, running that foot pedal will allow you a lot more control over your amperage through, through a run. So not something that probably everybody's gonna use, but there are times when you know, if you're on a, out on a mobile job, it would be pretty helpful. Uh, VRD, voltage reduction, that's for working in tight, uh, tight quarters or in a, an area that's damp. That'll keep you from getting shocked. It lowers the OCV until the, an arc is struck, then it ramps up the OCV, which is open circuit voltage. Anti-stick, that is uh, a feature where when you first strike an arc and the machine senses that the, it's grounded and it stays grounded, that it cuts amperage. That way the, the rod doesn't discontinue to get hotter and hotter and hotter. It'll actually cut off the voltage so it doesn't stick nearly as hard. You do have our rod type for our rod selection. This machine is rated to run 6010. Of course, your, all your 70 series rods runs no problem. The, the 6010 is important if you are running 6010. That sets the machine up to run an open, uh, a higher open circuit voltage so the arc doesn't cut out when you are long arcing 6010. So the cellulose rods, it is important to select that or they will not run properly. Uh, we also have hot start, timing for the hot start, and of course, arc force. So just a real basic run through of all the, uh, the options for the machine. Following our cyclones and the new DPIs, the menu uh, save feature is very similar. So if you just press it once, it's your recall. It'll show you your, your current custom named uh, memory selections. If you press and hold it for about five seconds, it'll come up to the save menu. You can see here on this right side that these are locked. You press power set to unlock it. You then press the right button. That'll open up your little keyboard. So we're just gonna name this one real quick. We'll just name it Jesse. So we just roll through, we'll scroll back over scroll to save, select. Now we have a custom name program. We can go back and lock that. So now that program can't be inadvertently changed. You have to go back in, unlock this program, select it, go back, change the settings, resave it, and then lock it again. And that prevents anybody from, from accidentally saving something on that, that menu or that, that memory without, uh, without advanced knowledge of it. So it makes it super secure as far as saving your your, your programs that you really like. You can't accidentally overwrite them. So yeah, a lot of that is the same on a lot of the other units. Uh, we're really trying to get that continuity between all the machines. As we come out with some newer LCD stuff, uh, the lightnings are gonna get an update. They're gonna have the same exact menu. So we're trying to make it to where if you, you get a lightning and you get a cyclone or you get a DPI, there's no relearning menus, relearning settings there's just gonna be a, a nice fluidity across the entire brand that once you learn one machine, you pretty much know how all of them work. Um, and that really about wraps it up for the 215. We will have some more videos coming out with this thing. Like I said, we, we just wanted to jump in real quick while we've got the film crew here, run through this thing real quick. We've got a lot of questions about it and we will be making some more content with this thing very soon. So we'll see you guys right back here with some more content on the Thunder 215 MTS.